Good morning world, good morning loves, good morning moms, dads. How are you guys doing? Hope you are doing amazing and keeping safe. Welcome back again to my channel. This is Lavin Owiti YouTube channel and I'm coming live from Siaya County, the land of heroes guys. It's a bright morning here. Uh, I remember when we used to write in composition, it was a chill morning and the birds were singing their melodious sound when I opened the door and I met that giant right at our door. <laughs> Guys, we have been praying for the rain for the longest time. It's almost two weeks we have not had the rains, guys, and people really started complaining how the maids are not going to do well because some have started taking out the maids that have not bared fruit to give the cows to feed on. Yeah, the struggle is real, yeah? You know, and if you imagine the fertilizers, the everything, preparing the farm, it really consumes a lot of finances. But anyway, if you don't get today, tomorrow God will provide it for you. That is what we believe in. So guys, we have had the rain. It's so cold. You can see even I'm on this heavy dress. It's so cold. It seems it even wants to rain right now. So we want to do some things. We want to take advantage of our rain. We don't want to let it go like that, guys. Because I've been watering my veggies. And also I've been watering my flowers, literally everything. In the morning and in the evening. It's so tiresome. And it really made me... Guys, I was... Uh, you know that my famous bucket, you see I have some, you see that, that white bucket did this to me, you see, you see this, it's so painful, it really scratched me that hard, I really bled, yeah, so those are the struggles that we get. And if God brought the rains that we have been praying for, I want to take advantage of it. Are you ready? Do you know what I want to do? Have you liked the video? Have you subscribed? Guys, we have really been growing. For the new subscribers, welcome. Feel at home. Here is all about positivity, inspiring, impacting, raw and uncut life in the village. Yeah, don't feel pressured. If you're looking for a channel in 254 that got no pressure, loving got you covered. Guys, you can see. Uh... It really had, you can see some mists. I think that is the right word. Yeah, we always call them some mists. Let me, you see? The, 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 the environment is still whitish. It uh, symbolizes that we might have a lot of rains now. Yeah. And this is how our ground looked like today. It really rained. And I thank God because... I've really been watering this and it was just yesterday this is mango that Wesley planted it was just yesterday uh, when I was watering my flowers these ones and also my veggies the other side guys I'm going to show you oh my god I was like telling my neighbor that oh my god I just wish uh, this was the last one that I did yesterday I just wish it will look up it will be a very beautiful flower i just wish it rains even once i just wish it rains even one that is what i was saying and god did that thing god has really been so gracious when i say i ask he gives when you call upon my name i will answer when i call upon your name you will answer Arajibu maumbi, Arajibu maumbi, Arajibu maumbi, Arajibu maumbi buwana. What I mean is, he answers prayers. If you pray, he will answer. Guys, you see, my trees are really doing well. Uh, these ones are the ones that was... What's wrong with this? These are termites. These termites are really misbehaving. These are the ones Wesley planted. Uh, he transferred them this other side. And it's the one that uh, prepared this space like this. <laughs> it really had a lot of grasses. 
he really helped me out and so because the rains are back i know we are going to get something good guys we are not remaining with anything it's like um the following month that is august we are in july august end of june august we will start now taking out our corns from our farms ah, i can't wait here yeah? let me check on palm gabi this is my therapy every morning when i wake up palm gabi is doing well sorry palm gabi is doing well yeah i give them water every day every day every day ah hi palm gabi how are you i want you to grow i want you to grow and become a beautiful lady so that you can make this space beautiful yeah and then guys also today i want to take advantage i want to take advantage of uh, you see i started planting some flowers this ones i got them from my neighbor's space so i want to take advantage of this rain now and also um, continue planting this because these ones will be so stuck so quick when the rains are there. Yeah, I want to take advantage of everything. Everything, guys. Uh, yeah, these ones are dried up. You know, it rained once like two weeks ago, and then I did it. Some have dried up, and uh, like this one's are, this one has dried up. I'll just take them away, but I'll not give up. I, let me see. No, it's not dried. You see that, guys? It's not dried. So I'm not giving up. I'll continue uh, putting them. Mm, yeah, I'll continue putting them. Until the day that they will get all stuck. I'll be so happy. Guys, that is not the moral of the story today. That is not the moral of the story, guys. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Lavin wants to take advantage of the rains, guys. In your place, is it raining, or it's just like uh, I don't know? The rains really come when they feel like, and they go when they feel like. But we don't want we we can't question God. That is the work of the Lord. That is the work of the Lord. Me, so long as my my trees are are doing well, and I have some veggies, I thank God for everything. I thank God for everything. So guys, there is some veggies or sugar that I planted. I just sprinkled them. I had no idea that I should put them on a seed seed bed the way I did to my spinach. And then I'll transfer them, uproot and plant them. So I did some yesterday, guys. And uh, yeah, because there are so many. So that is what I want to do today. Yeah, and share with you, my peeps. Let me show you. I think the space that I, I planted this pumpkin was not really that fertile and that's why the pumpkins are not looking that good. But we keep trying guys. Me for me, I'm so happy because I'm trying and uh, I'll, I'll, I'll reach there guys. So these are the veggies that uh, I planted. These are the usuga guys. How are they called in English? If you know them in English, kindly tell me. You see these ones? They are just traditional veggies, guys. They are so good. They are so good. So I'll just uproot them like that. I'm uprooting them like that. I didn't know. I thought that they were going to grow like the cow peas. Oh my God. Little did I know. I have to uproot them like this. And then go and transfer them somewhere else that is well prepared. And that is what I want to do today. Yesterday I was forced to yesterday I was forced to pour some water, sprinkle some water uh, on the ground for me for them to get out so quick. But today because we uh, it rained, I'm so lucky and now they are going to they're just coming out like that guys. Guys, I managed to take this, so we want to plant this first. Where we are going to plant, plant them is here. Next to my green collard. Some of you call them green collard. Uh, and as we call them Sukuma Wiki, here in Kenya. The kills. Yeah. 
so I had planted some yesterday and I'm so lucky because the rains were there the rains came immediately that is just a blessing on its own so like uh, spaces like this didn't do so well with the with the kills the green colored so this is where I'm going to fix my uh, osuga guys and the spinach are also doing so well I've shown you right yeah these ones are spoiled I need to get a medicine and I've been saying it over and over again I don't know what's wrong with me nowadays yeah my kitchen garden is taking shape let me show you the other side it's taking shape yeah it's taking shape you see that in three weeks time we'll be harvesting god willing yeah These are the veggies that we want to plant, guys. We call them osuga. If you know their name in English, you can just write down below so that we can know. Guys, how do you take advantage of the rain in your place? Do you do like us? Or do you do like Lavin? Lavin is taking advantage of the rain. feels good to have veggies in your site. It has really helped me a lot uh, for this time that I've been here in the village because I don't have to go out every day. Maybe uh, I just buy veggies that are not doing so well in my farm but not literally everything. Not literally everything compared to how I used to do when I came here new. Yeah. It's not if it was rain. It will make the space really, really beautiful. And by the way, I'm supposed to start uh, cleaning the weeds for the green colored. Like that guys that is how we do it just add in more soil on them yeah like that life in the countryside off green uh living i love when the rains are there because it makes work so easy and the soil is also soft compared to when uh, it's not raining it's raining the soil is so hard soil is so hard the problem with the rains uh, is that now the the weeds wants to come so quick. The weeds will be coming so quick. You you prepare it, you take out away the weeds, they come immediately after you have done. <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean they follow you at the back. You eat in the morning, in the evening, they are there. Yeah.
when it rains it pours we are done with the farm guys i'm done with the planting so uh this sand here you know when the muscles come to work they just take what they want the the, the left ones they just leave it there carelessly and because the, now the rains are, are also back i have to put them in one space so that they don't go uh with the rains healthy wesley is the one that helped me but he was not yet done 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 so i'm the one to make them well and then put stone around them so as to not to go away with the rain see it's a lot of sand They can't just leave it like that, guys. This is money. This is money. When it rains, it pours, guys. You have to justify yourself, your hand. Taking advantage of the rain. Yes, we are still in that mood, guys. Woo! So, this is what I want to plant. You see how this one has really uh, made this fence so strong? No, you can't even... You can't even get in guys you see that when it has really covered your space well uh the better so i want to take them so this is how you do it you see that because the kayaba take are like forever so let me try this i'll try until the day my compound will be fully covered i'll not get tired no getting tired no getting tired. No getting tired. No, 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 no. I managed to go get this. So let's head down. Wesley planted this. And I forgot even to pour water. What are it? There is this one specific side here that um, is really opened, and because it's uh, where people pass, because it's where people pass, I have to cover it. Why are these ones drying up? Let me start with here. This is how we do it, guys. Just do it that way. Slip by its side, that way. See that? Taking advantage of the rain. I have to put it outside, guys, because you know it always takes a lot of space when I do it from in. So doing it outside the better because this other space here uh, I gave it out when uh, my surveyor was here and uh, I just gave it out so no one can come and say that oh that space is mine you have trespassed my place no 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 so when I do it uh, with inside it will make uh, my space to become more squeezed so better I do it outside and I'll be trimming it trimming trimming it yeah 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 
Hey loves! Hey, 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 hey! How are you, my people? So, I have my maze here. I want to show you how to keep your maze uh, for the longest time without spoiling, guys. This maze, uh, I just bought them from the beginning of this year and uh, they are still well and intact guys they have not spoiled you know the termites tried getting in but um, i want to show you how to keep your maze for the longest time without the termites invading them i know now we have this maze uh therefore the agriculture the seeds are bought from the shops like the ones that i did in my farm uh the termites really love them but the local ones we call them the traditional maize. It's very rare. Yeah. So, how to keep your maize for the longest time away from termites? Loving got you covered, guys. So, of course, in a traditional home, you must have this. This is where our great great grandparents used to keep their maize long ago. Even now, we still use them. Do you still remember this process? We know we, we used to do it in school. So, guys, let me show you without taking so much of your time. So, what to do is this, guys. Uh, I have a sieve here that I want to make with it. Yes, I know you are wondering, what is this? This is a sieve. And uh, here with me, I have hash ashes. It's a, a hash. It's hash or hash. Hashes from uh, the local Jiko. Uh, the better is when you get the ashes from the uh, three stones. But for me, I got mine from the local Jiko. So long as they are clean uh, ashes, guys. You see, this one still have charcoal. So what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to sieve. Because what is needed is... Uh, the smaller particles, guys. These are just from the uh, local Jiko. Yeah. But don't worry, even if you have the, so long as it's just harsh, but it has to be a lot. Let me just show you guys. These are charcoals that have been made with the eggplant. I didn't manage to put a lot. I had a lot, but I don't know where Wesley has put them, guys. He was arranging our multi-billion dollar home. I don't know where he put them. Uh -huh. So this is the better for me. I don't know how some people do it. Some people do it with a sack. But for me, I just do it with my sieve. You see the remaining particles? These are very big particles. Just throw them away. Yeah, guys. I just said, let me share with my peeps. Yeah, guys. So, here is our ashes, guys. You see that? Here is our ash. So, what we are going to do is this. You do this and then you put in your maze like that yeah you put in your maze and then oh there is a call there is a call my my this chick is afraid of me it's not like the other chicks that i had here before the green girls so Guys, sorry for the distraction. Uh, guys, so you just mix it with the with the hash like this. Just mix it with ash until it's well, well. Oh my God! So you add in like this, guys. You see. And then the bigger particles, you leave it out. 
So when you do this, when you do this and then you mix it together, the entire maize, like that, so it has the hashes. You mix it well. And the best way to do this is uh, immediately you have harvested your harvest. Like now we are remaining like uh, one month. Next month, end, uh, uh, next month or the end of this month, this is July, people will start harvesting their harvest, maize, corn. So when they are dried, uh, if you do this, they'll be there fresh for the longest, longest time, guys. So, yeah. Just mix it well. Without this corn, I don't know. We can't survive. You know, ugali is our staple food here in Kenya. And uh, in most of the homes, you can't miss this. This is how we survive more so. Uh, some people have it once a day. Those people that work, work from 8 to 5 p.m. Uh, have it at night most of the time. And then some people have it twice as per your preference. But if you have it twice, you will be so full. You will be so full. So, with, like for me, I prefer if I don't take it uh, lunchtime, I'll take it uh, for dinner or supper. Yeah? That is how we do it here. What about you? I heard even Jamaicans normally eat, take it. So when you mix it well, guys, like that, when now you will be taking it to the... Let me add in more. You see? Now, when you will be... You want to take it to the portion meal and uh, you don't take it with the with the hashes you will just uh, do this let's assume that it's already dried guys you know it's not a sunny season yesterday it rained so we don't have much sun so what you do is this just put it in here Continuously, that. So all of it is going with the wind. Yeah. Guys, that is how you will keep your maize for the longest time without the termites invading them. They'll be clean as mine. They'll be clean. And uh, yeah, no termites. It really feels so bad when you have termites in your maize because they eat and leave your maize like nothing is left. Yeah. I know some of you will say that the ashes are dangerous. No, you know some people even uh, use the ashes to cook some vegetables. Like they just, there is how they sieve it or the, the banana leaves, not leaves, the outer part of the bananas waste. Uh, they let it dry and then they just grind it and uh, uh, there is how they do it and it becomes soda hash. Yeah, so there is no anything dangerous, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. I hope you have learned something, one or two. And yeah, 
thank you thank you so much you are god's favorite child let no one tell you otherwise until next time adios 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 the inner child in me wants to me to play with the maze like like this guy adios adios Adios. Don't marry a boring wife. Don't marry a boring husband. Get sometimes uh, a husband that can come and you play with the maze. And they will not judge you that you are behaving like a baby. <laughs> they will tell, baby, you are doing right. Yeah!